Welcome to Factorio Megabase in the Book. My name is Nilaus and we are continuing on our megabasing here. And uh, as you can see, I've let the robots go at it. And uh, what I've also done between sessions, because we've uh, spent some episodes on uh, setting up these builds for the iron and copper. And now that they are built, then it's a good time for me to move on and, uh, and just say, all right. And in between sessions, I can then convert some more. So what I have done is now I have five of these locations here and I have two for the location for iron and uh, two of those locations for copper. There is a fixed, oh, thank you for throwing me a tutorial. That's exactly what I needed. Here's the rules for it. Each one has 17, each one has 17 because that is 10 stops plus four, uh, 10 unloading stops plus four um, mining spots plus four in buffer. That's 18 minus one. So there's always somewhere that they can go. So I don't get stuck. So that's 17. That's why 17 is the number. And then for each of those st stations, I have, ten st I have nine stations, uh, nine loading stations, and therefore I have 10. So there will always be someone somewhere moving around. That's good. So similarly here, we have uh, five times 17, and then we have 50 trains because there are five times 10. So that's how I've, I've set it up. And uh, the only remaining thing, this one is still running on the iron part. It's not great, but it is the way it is. Uh, let's see these parts. Where are the other trains? Uh, where? What? Where are you? Oh, there's another one. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's four locations right now, and the only thing they can drop off to is back at the hub. So we'll leave it as that. This one will be converted into steel. We might get that to that a bit later. Uh, but the point is here is this one. We are having issues with our iron and copper. And uh, well, that's at least the monitoring part. So that's what we want to do. And in order for us to do it, I am going to get to this location. We'll do monitor the copper because copper is the most likely one to actually fill up. Uh, since I just built the iron parts, then it just takes a bit of time before it actually fills all the way up. Now I feel that I need to take this blueprint here and just absolutely put it into this location. It just really bothers me that it's so empty. So now it's less empty. Now let's um, let's have a look at uh, what we're doing there. Okay, so we're going to look at how I did monitoring previously, and then we're going to look at how I do monitoring now. So one of the key things is I need to make sure that I don't use a lot of uh, a lot of uh, a lot of advanced calculations because that will kill the performance bonus we got. So what we have in like the basic setup here is that we have basically saying how much is in the boxes. In this case, it's 16,000, so that's less than a full load. Here is 36, so that means it's from one full load, and that full load goes over here, sends one, sends one, and then that means we have 55 <laughs> loads available. That is quite a lot. Now, um, that's not how we can do it in this location. Let's get you back. Oh no, did I just, ow. Oh, that was way too close. Ow. <laughs> uh, did you unload something? Nope. Do you unload something? No. Nope. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. That was way too dangerous. Let me run in front of trains again. Just to... Uh... All right. We're going to have this. This one has 30,000. So hopefully it'll get to 32,000. And then we'll have that destination full. Uh, my guess... Uh, my my definition is... This one means that we have one available. If we have something that's standing here. A full train load. And nowhere to go. That means, there we go, that should be now counting as two inbounds. So we need some kind of monitor for this. The first thing we're going to do is try to observe what kind of information we can get out of this one. So what are we getting now? Nothing. What if I read the train content and read the train count? So funnily enough, we don't read the train content because this one is left. We don't read the train ID because it's left, but the train count still counts somehow. So that might be a hint or not. Um, I've also built this, which I don't want. Let's remove that because that's actually going to come in again. Uh, let's have a look at one of the other locations that we can then check here. Get that. Let's take this one. You are at 11,000. So let's see what we can monitor from this location. Actually, can I just, can I go in here? Yes, I can. So already now, what are we getting? We are getting the read stop train. So the stop train is 6,100. That's just the train ID. This train ID has, I wonder if I can 
can I see the ID somewhere? Oh yes, 6,131. So that's just the ID, that's just a number. And that's basically the 6,131st train that I placed in this series. That's a lot, a locomotive. Uh, including the ones I picked up again and all that stuff. That's still a, lot, a big number. So this stops being there once the train actually departs the station, the T. But the C keeps going. So if I also now monitor the train count, then at this point I get one train is associated to the station, but it's also associated to the station when it is empty, but something is coming in soon-ish. So let's go over to, for example, that one. Here, C is equal to one, because you can see here there's one on one train. That means one train is coming inbound to this location. Now I have no idea which one it is, but one of them is coming there. Maybe that one? It is exactly this one. There we go. So monitoring C just means that there is a train that's being assigned to it. It can be assigned on the way in, but it can also be assigned in the sense that it is, um, like if you look at it now, yeah, and we could also look, just look at the content of the train. That might be also an option, uh, read train content. There we go. That's also an option. So, but what we did see that if we have anything, that one is full. Okay, we'll be using this one for now. Oh, you left, damn it. I really wanted you. Huh. I really need something here that is uh, that is destination destination full. Hmm. Not just not happening just now. Well, let's look at this. Look at this one then, and just for the sake of just looking at what we get. So when this is full, read train count, read stop count, read train content. It's interesting here that we get that there are two trains assigned to the station two out of two on the train limit but nothing because you don't monitor the train the content of the trains now that we can do that here as well in this case we only have the c so this doesn't work what we can do though is we want to have a measure that a train is standing here but it is not counted as it is not counted um here like for example let's take let's take that one here we have a t so we should have something that indicates that the train is here has to be greater than t because t should be zero right why did i just get a notification here that yellow science is running out okay why what are you no density. Wow, this is one hell of a distraction. Can you just please not get distracted? And why are you distracted? Or why are you not working? These are the old copper, but it still kind of works. Oh, plastic is not working. Really? How is plastic not working? Okay, one thing at a time. One thing at a time. I, I did see that plastic was running out, which is, just doesn't make any sense. I know we've calculated plastic. I know it's good enough. Um why why though 45 and then the train comes in is it because of lack of trains i have eight trains that so can't be that well it could but um but you you're 28 so nothing is coming in yet when it gets to it should get up there pretty quick 30 31 and then soon enough we'll get another train coming in here 32 another train comes in one of one, yeah. So as soon as the train comes in, okay, we, we are consuming all of the all the all of the plastic that we're producing. That's odd. And um hmm, scary. Well, doesn't matter, that's not what we're gonna do right now. What we're gonna do is continue on this one. We'll come back to the other one afterwards. So what I need to do is what if we say that C C means that there's a train station here. So what if we do C? That means something is assigned is greater than T. Then we output one, let's just make it a green just to to highlight. Yeah. 
Right now, T is the ID, which is always going to be higher than 1. But we need to wait for this one for the T to drop down to 0, which means that it either... And this is already where we have the problem, but I'll just uh, um, just look at it as we see it. This one will be green greater than zero and use color. And we'll also get it up to that location because that's going to be necessary. So what are you at? You're 28. I know exactly what we see the problem here. We're going to wait for this one to go to, to 30. That's going to take a while. So we just wait. We are now close to hitting this one to 32, 32, this one is good, this one is set to destination full, this is good, this one will now give us a green light, green light means yes, we have it. So, I think this works in the default condition, but there is a more of a, a not an edge condition, but it's going to be something else. Come on, take that train out. I, did, I wanted this to be, yeah, there we go. So, what are we seeing now? We're seeing that it's still positive. Now it's positive because the C will continue to be positive as soon as there is another train inbound. And that's not actually correct because right now I don't have a train waiting. So I don't want to indicate that there is a, a positive sign here, right? So what I actually need to do is to make sure that I monitor that there is actually a train in the station, not just a sign that it is inbound because one of these trains, there's a train somewhere that's inbound. Uh, why is there a bit of congestion here? Oh, there we go. Okay. Ah, okay. That's also like... Ah, I see. I see a problem here. That one and that one. They've kind of forgotten. Let's get those here and then get you back again. And get you in. That should be easy. And at this point, it's now not light. So I need another indication. And this is where we could use something like this. So I could flag it here. This will now read the signal, not close the signal, but read the signal. So when there is a red, that means I now need to say C is, C is the number strength. No, red. What does this mean? This means that red is going to be one. You can see the sense one signal in here. And T is the ID of the train parked at this station. Now, if there is, if the train is no longer parked, but it's trying to depart, then the red signal will still be there. That'll be one. But the train ID will disappear. So if there is a train that blocks, makes this signal go red, but it's not assigned, not stopped at the station, then it will highlight it. That can only be in two cases. The train is entering and it has just turned this one red and is about to park. Or, But only until it parks. As soon as it parks, it'll have ID, train ID sending over here and then it'll turn off. So there's going to be a tiny, tiny, tiny bit here. Then, and the other case is when it is idling at this location waiting to depart. Well... That's going to be interesting. I'm going to take this part. Um, maybe even not read the train count and not read the content. We don't need to do that. We just need to have the T. So we'll do this part and then, oops, we need to go here. And then let's find some other train that, this one. Oh, come on. Why does it have to be right there? Someone should put it down there then. There. And go. Ah, oh, then it left. Come on. That was ah, millimeters off. All right. Let's we'll try the next one and then look for a good example. You're at 22. This one needs to be unblocked here. Where are you at? You're at 8.7, so that's useless. You're at 13. That's also kind of useless. This one's still at 22. That's slow. 15. Oh, that one. Please don't go. Please don't go. All right, let's see. We now have input signal is one red because that one's here. But this since this train is trying to leave, then it is not counted as a train that is stopped. And therefore, the ID of the train cannot be transmitted to the decider combinator. The decider combinator will then evaluate that there is a train waiting, but it is not at the station. Then it's good at this point. Then it changes and then it turns off again. So as soon as the train actually clears the station, it turns off. I like it. 
because even at this point we have one of one train in there is a train that is already en route to come in here but it's that was what when we used the c value then that would not be incorrect so i think i'm pretty good with this i will actually mark this as one copper and then i will I guess i'll do that one can i do all of this at once there Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter like that. We'll take this part and push it everywhere. Ah, uh, no. We also have to take out the little light. Because again, we don't want to take anything that isn't necessary. And this is also not good. Yeah. How's this? 30? Okay, so that should be coming in. And next. And there. You're at 22, you're at 21, and this one is almost good. 31. Alright, let's see if this one just changes here. There should be one copper signal coming into this one soon. As soon as we see the purple sign above the train, then we should have an indicator. There we go. We have an indicator now this says there's one train idling because it's full and it's ready to go that means there is a storage of one train and not just when it starts leaving but when it clears the station when this one turns green again then it'll stop being available so that means it's i, I think that's good uh, let's wait for this one to actually go out i mean we're just looking at it and it will eventually oh well, how did that happen Hmm. All right, we're going to wait for this one to go out. There we go. It is now leaving. We still have one indicator, and now the indicator is clear. I like it. I like it. We'll continue to go over here and make sure that we get all of this done. And that one. And that one. Now, we just need to clip all of this together. Oops. What? All right. We still have nothing positive. There's nothing waiting at this station yet. And then I'd like to, I'd really like this to be Oh, there's one. One. Where are you? There. Perfect. I can't see it on, on the overlay. One, two. Is it two? It's two. It's working. Awesome. 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 That is brilliant. Now all we need to do is hook it up to the main line. Well, I don't think we're running out of copper anytime soon because we have 54, technically 53 of the other, of the other ones. So, well, it was, uh, it was good to do this, but not super necessary. I'm going to do this part here. And I'm going to plop it down on the other one. Yep. And make sure that I get our robot port there. Good. Now, I need to build this for the iron build as well. Uh... I'm going to build the same thing, but I'm not going to build the same thing because obviously I'm not going to overwrite the station names because that could just cause a bit of a mess. So we'll take this, we'll go nearby, and then we'll... Uh, okay, there is another one up here, so we'll use this as our example. And we just need to rotate it by 30 degrees or uh, 90 degrees, 30 degrees. So I'm going to plop this down. And then I will gracefully change this to iron. I will gracefully change that station over. And then I take this out. And then I try to build it here. Let's have a look at it. Read stop train. I don't know why it's sent to train is actually active here. It's just always is. Uh, is there a stop behind this? I can't see it there. Yes, real signal. That sends a red one. If the red one is greater than T, then send one. It's all good. We can do this one again. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then all I do, oh, I really want to turn the turn the belt here, but that's not how things work. There. Nothing. Okay, they're coming over. Well, um, I feel pretty confident that this is going to work. So all I need, all I feel I need to do is get this hooked up between the top point here. It would be really nice to see that it works. But alas, that's not going to happen. So we'll have to trust our engineering here. That means I need to take this part. And it has to include all of it. Oh, hold on. I definitely do want to take that from the map view. Too risky otherwise. This one. Go. And... These two are the same, so it should be possible to build it here. Got it. And it should be possible to build it here. Got it. And here. And here. Oh, they are all, way, all of them are turned this way. Nice. Okay. And that means I can go here. You can go that one. And then go back. That should, should, right, should actually get us all the monitoring we need. I will take the one up top, up to the top right hand side, because we can easily run through this. There. Trees, damn trees. I thought this was almost there. Oh, we are getting attacked? Really? Huh. Oh, that's pretty trivial. Where are we? Uh, we're lost. That's where we are. Go here and then cross. I felt it was right next to it. Ah, oh, well. It's it's a big base we have. Oh, by the way, the base is also kind of idle. So because it's idle, that means we should be plopping down some more city blocks. Solar city because we want to get we'd have to we had to sort of remove a few that we didn't want to remove That should be good, right? I don't think I wanted to ah, do it Just get it going. I don't know how long it's gonna take but just get it going There we go done Let's see, uh, power Power is, see, 917,000. It's not a lot, actually. It is kind of enough, but we definitely want to have 1 million there. All right, so all the way up here, we are going to build the stuff that's missing. There we go. At a casual distance. And we want to check if any of them have the destination complete. If they get that one, gets the destination complete. Ah, uh, shoot, that's not great. Because now I actually have, have it leaked in here. And I don't think I want that. That is exceptionally true that it's not it was exactly not what I want. So I'm gonna have to take you out and instead go into here. Now this says four of those are working, and that'll just be I think that's safer. It's just annoying to set up because then it I can see separately how much each of them. This one is providing four. Let's have a look in that. Seems plausible. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Looks very plausible that this is actually four. And then it has that one. 
how it goes. All right. And unfortunately, that also is something that has to be set up for the other ones as well. But uh, yeah, I'll just I'll just set that up and then we can proceed with the next objective. OK, so now we have the monitoring in place for all of these locations. The monitoring is going in here and we can see from this. Well, that was a bad one we chose. <laughs> Let's take another one that's more uplifting. This one is very uplifting, I guess. This has nine out of nine getting stuck. And that's great because we have way too much uh, uh, copper being produced at this point. That's good because that means we can scale up. What about this one? This one says two of them, two are idle, one, two. That looks good. Looks very sensible. This one has been converted into a steel build because, well, we need steel more than we need uh, need iron. So uh, we do not at this point. Well, at, at this point we have, hmm, where are you? This one. This is our only remaining iron build that is the old one. So you can see if you want to check some numbers, we have two trains. We have, how do we have seven of those stops? Hmm. Seven of those stops. That is weird. Honestly, that's really weird. Why do we have seven of those stops? Well, I am going to have to look, have a look. And there. What? Get that out of the way. That's definitely not an important one. Uh, let's keep looking. That was a good thing we did that. Keep looking at stations. Oh, oh stations. And... There. Okay, so this is definitely out. This one has been disconnected. This is disconnected. And then we have here. Ah, right. Okay, so we do have a few that are so bad that they are yeah, still 2.2 million. It's going to take forever. And we do have two trains. So if we build it here, that's going to be fine. Um, but that one, and we have, okay, so we have one iron patch here, we have one iron patch here, and then we have one that is disconnected. At, I don't know where that is, but I think we disconnected one. That one is disconnected, and that needs to be converted into steel then. Uh, actually, this is not the best place to disconnect it. It's actually up here. What I want to do is take this one out entirely, like that. Probably all of this as well. That one is now taken out. And then I'll build its local steel smelting. That in its place. And once that's done, then we can get it. So um, that's... Wow, this, this iron patch really needs to do something. Yeah, that's a great iron patch. Why we, we took that out because I wanted to convert it and I kind of wanted to convert it into one of these, but I don't think I want to now. I think I wanted to make it into two steel, but certainly not something that's going to happen right now. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to keep doing this. This is, well, it just is what it is. And uh, what I want to do though, is I want to make sure that we have enough plastic because plastic does not seem to be able to catch up. If you look at this, plastic is running out like a lot. I don't know why there's two. Um, and I don't understand why plastic is running out. It really shouldn't be. So what I can and should do is actually make this intersection here. Let's uh, jump down and get it. First of all, though, if we look at the plastic build, then let's get all the stuff that we need for the plastic build in our inventory there. So we need 16 of those and 100 and okay. <laughs> 16 and 116. Mm-hmm. That might be a bit of an issue. I uh, probably want to get rid of some of our trains here. Let's get that no more than eight. And this one no more than two. Should help a bit. And what else? Definitely this one up to 400. This one up to 400. And we will also need some... What else do we need? Sure, we need some of, where are they? Some of those, this, this, there, 20 of boil, 20 boilers. Yeah, that's not really what I wanted. So that's okay. 200, that one, and then boilers. Do we have boilers somewhere? I don't know. Yeah, we do have boilers. So if you can, there we go, 20. Good. That should be coming in. Got it. 16. 20. 
And do we have some... Yeah. I think we have everything we need in order to build that. Good. So that will be at this location here. In the meantime, you are going to go down there and try to build. I'm going to take this out. I'm going to take this out. And then instead, I'll also take it out here. Oh, no, it's not even there. So T intersection there and T intersection here. What? Express transport. Ah, right, that one. And that will then be more in T intersections. That one, that one. And we're not going to take this because... Because we're going to leave that one for a bit. And then we'll take the other one instead. Moving forward. And this will be the one we will actually build. So we'll start turning. Come on, robots. You can. I know you can do it. Yeah. And get the rest of it. Oh, yeah. The reason why it's so slow is because of all the other... All the other uh, commands that are being put out. So these ones are just kind of waiting a bit. Waiting until they get there. And... Oh, this is uh, also getting really busy. That's very lovely to see. Just gradually building. Oh shit, it had a lot of iron here. Oh, I thought I was actually out of iron. Uh, then I should have shot it first. Oh well. Um, I am going to take this one to... Zero. And this one also to zero. And this one to zero. Just so that we show we don't accidentally get that in again. There. And then all we need, we definitely need to take that out. I am going to take... Normally I would take a the blueprint from... Uh, from the yeah, blueprint book, but I need to get... Ah, hold on. That was not what I wanted. Here. Actually, also tiles. Not those tiles, but the water fill tiles. Thank you. Should be possible to get it there. Q. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff built. We have to walk all the way through. How uh, how are they doing? They're probably overfilled, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They are all fat and happy. Not ha except not happy. Ugh, that's miserable. Should not have been like that. Uh, but I'm going to have to walk the long way back in here. Focusing on spider turn linked to remote you're holding. Ah, right, right there. There. This is my water fill. Uh, the mod that actually allows you to make water. I like it. It's... Solves a bit of sort of some trivial issue. Oh, I always forget this. I always forget that I need this. Uh, so let's get like 40 of those and then get that sorted as well. Maybe we can, can, can cheat our way to it. Like if I could pick it up from somewhere else. Like some steel maybe. If I could pick up some steel. Yeah, I could pick up some steel there. Make some barrels and then just barrel it from one of the other locations. I think we can do that. Yeah. That's also... Um, this is gonna take a bit of time to to get get working, so I will just let this uh, this is work. And also, while my stupid spiderons are repenting for their 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 issue here, uh, we're gonna need to take this one out. All right, so let's uh, let's wait for that one to be done, so we can at least see that the plastic is operational. And so the new production here is built uh, it does kind of uh, begs the question of why do we not have enough coal but maybe that's just one of those things that we need to to get sorted let's have a look um, this should be good right it should be good this one is blocked 
Right, so I guess that's actually just a few more coal trains. That should be easy to do. Uh, let's build this one here. Yep, that's being built. Uh, they are coming in, but, uh, well, actually, let's get you down here so you can help in case I run out of stuff. I am going to need a something like this, I imagine. Something like this. Right there. Oh, that's so close. There. That's what we need. And except not really this one. Also not really this one, but kind of the combination. There. There. And there. And probably not having enough, but that's why we summoned the spider trons to get there. Oh, that's so close. You can do it. You can do it. There. Get the last ones. And we will then go down here and add all of these sort of missing. Ta -da. And we now have another steel facility production complete. Good. Do we have more of these trains? Well, these trains are just not really getting built anytime soon. Why are they not? Uh, I guess someone is uh, build use is allocating all of my construction bots to do construction bot things. So that's kind of why I don't have any construction bots to go down here and construct some trains for us. That's sad. And we are getting more solar panels coming in, so that's good. But I don't think solar panels are at risk at this point. Uh, don't think, even think I need you in here. You can actually go back. So what we have is now we have another steel. Another steel. We have all of the iron parts. If we look at the iron, how is that monitoring? Two is idle. Uh, this one, we got the monitoring nine idle up here. And nothing is idle. Well, nothing is idle. That means, well, things are busy. Nothing is idle. Mm -hmm. And here, there's five idle. Okay, so this is also for, further away. I would expect that there would be more idling up here. Nope, guess not. Oh, well, uh, this one has idles. This one, it does not. I think it's, uh, it's pretty good. That means we now have a much better view. Plastic is still a problem. Yellow science is kind of still a problem, but that's because low dense structures, low dense structures is bad because of lack of plastic, but now we've added another 25% on our plastic build. So if we can just get enough iron parts in, then we are enough, uh, enough coal trains coming in, then that should be fine as well. Uh, we do have a lot of coal, coal locations and I'm pretty sure we could get another one, a few one, extra ones. This one is fully saturated. Oh, we definitely need more coal trains. All right, let me uh, get this. We're going to send four more coal trains out. So uh, that just, just has to happen. So we have the trains built and they do have a bit of fuel. They have all the fuel they need. So we'll just allocate these as coal trains. Uh, that is a coal train. So get that. Copy, copy paste 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 off we go more coal trains for you should help on the actual production how many coal trains do we now have in production at this location 14 coal trains is that enough i have 20 of those it's not really enough and how many consumers do we have we have 12 consumers but that's 10 here and then two more for i don't even know military science i suppose we definitely have enough coal look at the, how much the massive massive coal so this is very much a problem of um of supply trains and nothing else nothing else there okay they can build here but that's about it all right so this is a good place to uh, wrap up this episode what i feel is now we've we've stabilized things we got a lot more steel we got a lot more iron we got proper monitoring now there's a few things that are sort of we have neglected for a while and they will be in focus such as the fact that plastic was just running out then we need to make sure that we have enough blue circuits because blue circuits have been idle for a long time and uh, just get that and then we can potentially look at scaling up again even though it looks like we have bad uh, updates i'm actually pretty happy with the updates and i really feel that we've gotten some significant approval uh, improvements uh, by doing this uh, of course, it's not going to be that significant because they'll have a lot of the plastic ones. Or sorry, a lot of the copper ones still operational that they have a lot of belts. But what can we do? What can we do? Um, so thank you very much, everyone, for following. And a big particular thanks to the 
Patrons, I really appreciate that you are continuing to support me and uh, that there are new people once in a while that uh, also choose to support. So thank you very much, new and old uh, supporters of the channel on Patreon. I really appreciate it. So thank you very much. I will see you guys in the next episode. Until then, take care. And as always, stay effective.